morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I am beyond excited today because I think if everything goes well, I am going to be getting a super rare lizard. That's right. I have known about this animal for the last couple weeks. It came from Africa. A friend of mine sent me pictures. It was a baby. I was like, oh my God, I've got to have it. But I've got to talk to Lori first because it's one of those things that I hope she's going to allow me to get him. I think it'll be absolutely perfect here at the Reptarium. So uh, wish me luck. I think I'm going to go talk to Lori right now. Hopefully she'll give me the approval. If she does, we're actually going to get it on a plane today and get it later this afternoon. Because of the rarity of this animal, we didn't want to overnight at FedEx. We wanted to get here as quick as possible, so we're literally going to have to go to the airport and pick it up, but that way it's only in transit for like two hours as opposed to FedEx, and that could be eight or ten hours because it's so rare. It literally, I think, is the only living one in existence, so it's going to be rare. Hopefully, Lori gives me the green light. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Lori. What? I got to talk to you about something. You may or may not be happy with me, but I never, I never like the way that sounds. <laughs> no, I think this seriously. I got offered an animal from uh, Africa, a little tiny baby, and you know that I love those because they're. I mean, we, we don't have any at all, let alone. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, there was one other one in the world, but I think it passed away last year. I heard it was down in Florida. So this will be the only one, and you know how I feel about that in the reptarium. We have these like really unusually cool, like one of a kind of animals. So what's your thought process? Mm -hmm. You know me, my thoughts all over the place. <laughs> like what? Well, uh, um, so so how like how established is this animal? It's about, you know, I saw pictures when it was first born before I was, you know, I mean, I never said I was that interested in it, but when it was coming in the country, it's about a month and a half or so. So it's nice and chubby. I mean, it looks okay. really, so it really is good. established yeah. and doing well. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a fresh baby or something like that, but I mean, it's, it's like twice the size of a baby, but they've had it since it hatched. I mean, it hatched in captivity in one of the farms over in Africa. I mean, it's so cute. So, um... It, is it already being shipped here? Well, no. I have to. I have to call him <laughs> and find out if it's okay. He said he can ship it here. And what we talked about is the that rather than like overnighting it, because obviously you know that's you know it's a one of a kind. It's not like I want to take that risk. He said he can get on a flight, and it's only like an hour and a half flight. But so it's like four hours from the time he drops off to the time I pick up. So I have to go to the airport and pick it up. So I don't want it to. I just didn't feel comfortable FedExing it overnight. You know. So it'll be here this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's convenient. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I have to call him. I mean, I, it's not like, I mean, he's not going to just ship it to me. But I got to call him back and tell him yes. I told him I'd talk to you because I'm not going to just have him ship me an animal without talking to you first. Okay. You good? You excited? <laughs> How about, I'm good. <laughs> all right, cool. That's we'll all go I needed. That, and then I'll wait to see the animal. But oh, I'm it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'll text you a picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Yeah, hey, I was just touching the base with you. We're a good to go. Lori's on board, so you can definitely ship those animals to me if that's good for you. Yeah, it can still get on that same flight. Okay. All right, so yeah, like 4, 4 30, right? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll head there. So, all right, I'm excited, man. All right, thank you so much. All right, talk soon. Bye. All right, so I'm collecting eggs today, and it's kind of crazy. We have already got, like, over a 1,000 eggs. I've only been collecting eggs for about a month. So it's going to be pretty crazy. We still have about three more months to go, so we're probably looking at three to five thousand babies this year which is pretty crazy it's about the same as every year but ugh, it's gonna be a lot of babies so if you'll eat stuff like crickets and mealworms and cockroaches yeah. and stuff like that that's what they eat i know it's crazy and look what we have here this is kind of what I was concerned about. Remember yesterday when Lucy was stretched out over there and she's moving out? Oh, which by the way, oh my gosh, she is not happy. All right, I'm gonna back up. Do you see, as soon as I even open the cage, she's just like coming right out. She is so unhappy. Regardless, 
found this. She was running around yesterday and sure enough, she deposited an infertile egg. Now, I will say this, I've seen it happen before where there's been an infertile egg or two pop out a day or two early and then they've laid a beautiful clutch. I've also seen many times that when you start to see a day or two early they're popping out infertile eggs, the entire clutch could be infertile. So Lucy, I'm not so sure how she's going to do. I'm definitely a little bit concerned about it, but I'm going to leave her alone because this is a sign that she's going to lay eggs any time. The problem is I don't know if they're going to be fertile or not. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Definitely within the next few days you're going to see me inside pulling either a fertile clutch or an infertile clutch of eggs. And I might as well put this infertile egg to the use and uh, feed my guy Elvis here. I think he's going to definitely like it. Come on, bud. Come on. Here. There you go. Out here. Out here. Here you go, buddy. I don't think he knows what to think about it. There it is. Oh, Elvis! Oh my God, that was gross! Oh my gosh, <laughs> Elvis, you silly monkey, you! What did you do? Oh, he's just making a mess. Oh, I think he likes it. He's like a dog. <laughs> you have to clean this up right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, that didn't work out exactly what I expected it to be, but uh, at least it was some enrichment for Elvis because he certainly seemed to be having a great time trying to figure out how to eat it and uh, certainly make the floor look bad. But oh my God, look at this dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, bud. <laughs> All right, well, hey, listen, at least if she has a clutch of slug eggs, we know Elvis and probably Abasuku and Argamas, they probably all love it. So uh, as for now, uh, this was quite the mess. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of clutches of colubrids, starting with this one, Mexican black king snake. <laughs> Look at that, man. That is a gorgeous clutch. Now, you remember that I actually pulled a couple other Mexican Black King clutches over the last few days, and they were pretty small clutches. I think one was four eggs, one was three eggs. So finally, it's nice to get a decent clutch from a Mexican Black King. These are some beautiful eggs, too. What do we have here? We have two, four, six, seven eggs. That's more like it. I think that I've had clutches of up to 10 eggs, but this girl isn't very big. She's a first-time female, so the fact that she laid seven eggs is really a good clutch for her. And again, like I always do, I always get her shut out of there, get her cleaned up. We'll get some water in with her. These guys, again, will eat right away, so we'll give her some food today, get her beefed up, and start breeding her within the next seven or 10 days, and hopefully about six weeks from now, she'll have another clutch of eggs. And we only have two Kluber clutches today, so let's see what this one, and this is actually an aneurthristic head scalus, which is bred to an orange flow, which is kind of a cool little scalus. Let me see if I could show you the male real quick. It's this little monkey right here. He is absolutely gorgeous. So he's the dad. And what's nice is every time you start to get a clutch from this group here, he's bred all five of these females and you have a fertile clutch. That means there's a good chance that he's gonna be fertile in all these other females too, which is absolutely incredible. And this year has been just unbelievable so far. Okay, so we have a big aneurthristic corn snake. I mean, look at how big this girl is. And of course, aneurthristic is just lacking the red pigment that's called iridophore. And what I have to do is just gently pull her off the eggs so she doesn't roll any of the eggs. Make sure I check mama out really good. Like I always say, I wanna make sure that there's no eggs or anything else stuck in there. We'll pull the shed out. We'll get some water in with her. We'll set these eggs up and uh, see what's going on. Let's go ahead and check to see how many eggs there are in this clutch. Ooh, this is a nice clutch right here. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 eggs. I tell you what, I, I could get spoiled like this right now. Colubrid season's done well, which means Eric and Lori have been doing an amazing job. They deserve all the credit. I just get the glory and go around and collect eggs to be totally honest with you. They do all the hard work. So I am absolutely over the top happy with the way the season is going so far. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be ultrasounding my breeding females. Anyone who hasn't already ovulated, uh, the ultrasounding is how I keep track of their follicle growth throughout the season, and then I record it on their breeding cards. So I've got my little ultrasound wand thingy here. I've got some of the conductor gel, and I am going to try if she will like kind of uncurl a little for me. 
try to get about maybe like 60% down the length of her body is about where the oviduct's going to be and where I'm going to want to scan. Look for follicles. There we go. And they show up right away on the screen. That right there, those little orbs, those are follicles. And they're actually, they're pretty big. These are pretty advanced, which makes me very happy because I love this girl. And I'm really rooting for this clutch. So let's see where we're at. 19. All right, that's good. It's not a big jump from where she was last time, uh, but she was at 15 millimeters last time. Uh, the fact that she's continuing to grow is very promising. Things are wrapped up here at the shop. It's that time we can head to the airport and get this animal. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see it. I hope everything goes okay. It's gonna be so amazing. Let's hit the road. I tell you what, I am so excited about this. There's kind of a backstory to this particular animal or this type of animal that I'll tell you guys about some other time. But the truth is, is that I've been kind of dreaming about getting one of these again and again. I'll tell you about that later. So it is pretty cool to know that I've got about a 45 minute drive to the airport and then I'm gonna finally get a chance to see this little monkey. Oh my God, it is amazing. Uh, fingers crossed everything comes in good. I'm sure it will. It's only been in transit for the last three or four hours. So, all right, let's get to the airport. So the animal arrived. I cannot wait to actually open it up. The anticipation is killing me. I wanted to open it up right now, but I knew I couldn't. So we have to get back to the shop, get it opened up, take a look at this cute little monkey. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And then of course I already have a cage all set up and ready to go. So probably about an hour till we get back to the shop. I tell you what, I'm just like exploding with excitement. Finally made it back to the shop. I've got my little package here. I tell you what, you have no idea how excited I am right now. Uh, all day, it's even worse the fact that normally I get shipments at like nine in the morning, 10 in the morning. The fact that I have to get it at the end of the day makes it that much more anticipation. But nevertheless, let's just go ahead, jump in and see this little monkey. Oh, and by the way, I found my little knife. Remember the other day I said I couldn't find it? Well, guess what, I found it. Which makes it awesome, which means the shipment's even gonna be better. Oh my God, it is gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, here's the bag. And you guys know, I've mentioned it before, the people that I have a disdain for, for using zip ties on packaging. So sorry guys that do this, but it just drives me crazy. I mean, it's just one more step of hassle that I have to do, but uh, it's all worth it for this particular animal. So, okay, deep breath, Brian, deep breath, deep breath. Where is it? Oh! It's such a cute little dude. Oh my God, it is so small. Oh, oh my gosh. What in the world? Oh my gosh, it's so chunky. This is unbelievable. Okay, so now you guys, if you don't know, this right here is an albino savannah monitor or an albino bach monitor as they call them in west africa oh my gosh this is the deal guys i actually owned four of these about 15 years ago and i actually had sent them off to a friend of ours to breed them they ended up not making it which was really a bummer and then there was one other one imported a couple years ago and it lived for a handful of years and then unfortunately my understanding is that it perished so this is the only pure red-eyed albino savannah monitor that i know about how crazy is that? Now, I'm not saying that there's not new one, so if you own one, please don't get mad at me. I don't know. I just don't know of any other albino savannah monitors, and I absolutely freaked out when I saw the picture. This is a baby, and I got it, so, oh my, it is so much cuter, and I remember getting mine when they were this big, and mine got to adult size before I put them out on loan, so, oh my God, it's so cool to have one again. I'm gonna get this guy set up. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a sleepless night tonight, just making sure that this goes good. I wanted to get hydrated. I wanted to eat and then I'll feel a lot better. But as for now, that was the surprise, guys. I hope you like it as much as I am. I am over the moon with this. 
It is so absolutely adorable. I kind of feel like this is a revolving cage, and it's really because it's a perfect cage for a monitor lizard. We've got a 115 to 100 degree hotspot over here. We've got lots of rocks and crevices that it can get on. So we had Toothless in here until he got too big, we moved out. Then we put the Aki monitors in here. We've actually moved them to a different cage just because this cage was so big, they almost got lost in here. So we have another cage. Now we cleaned it up, and now the albino savanna is gonna go in there. So again, we have a nice spot where he can climb, get really close to the hot spot. We've got a cool spot over here, lots of places for him to hide. So I'm just gonna go ahead, let him go and on, and he looks on believable in this cage. I mean, look at the red eyes. There is no doubting the albinism in this little monkey right here. So again, these guys are pretty chill. I'm sure he's a little bit stressed out from the trip, so I'm gonna just leave him alone. He's got a fresh water over here. He's got lots of places to go, and I'm just gonna let him be until tomorrow. And uh, I tell you what, guys, I'm ending the vlog because I am freaking out. I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight until I get back here tomorrow to check on him, and hopefully he'll crush some crickets tomorrow. So, oh my God, I'm so happy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this journey. You guys are absolutely wonderful and I love you so much. Remember to be kind to someone and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.